Hey, good morning. This is a demo video for three sabers, but for a private customer. So I've got uh, their KR Regis right here. This was weathered and uh, etched and powder coated by Pete Sandoval over at Bad Batch Etching. Also a member of Smugglers. This came out very nice. We'll go over this one. We have another one. This is a Valkyrie that was uh, etched, painted, and all that from uh, Carl Danby over at Vaults of Valhalla. So this is another beautiful saber. We'll go over this one as well. These were both two full installs. And then the third and final one, uh, this is an old Graflex uh, 2.0 kit that I had done for this customer uh, a little over a year ago, probably. It has a Goff Master chassis. It just came in for a switch fix. Um, so that's something that I did. We'll go ahead and go over this one first because it won't take long. But how to get to um, the chassis, right? You just wanna come over here and flip this up. When you do that, you can unscrew the handle. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So on this particular chassis, or setup rather, I'm gonna close this for now. Uh, the switches are located right underneath the clamp cart. So your power's up here, your auxiliary's down here. Um, it may be hard to see due to my lighting. You can almost see one wire there for the switch, but the switches, the switch wires go up underneath they come outside of the chassis and then they feed into the switches right here. But the, but, the, uh, but the threading for the handle is right there. It's right underneath where the switches are. So if you're not careful, it's very easy to get those wires caught up in the threads of the handle as you're cranking down on it and it could pull the wires and snap them and that's exactly what happened. So um, I tried to do a better job of tucking those guys in there and getting them out of the way of the threading very hard to do i think i got it um, if you just take careful or just take some care when you're putting the handle on um, you know everything should be fine all right so that's what i did there go ahead we can pull the kill key everything's still working fine hitting power you have the saber turned down so i didn't uh, change that at all the speaker is actually located up here Everything's working good there. Auxiliary. Power again. Right, so yeah, everything is working on that guy fine now. We'll go ahead and put the kill key back in. Whoops. This is a kill key that you can turn or you can pull out. Um, so most of the time I just like to pull them out, but you can turn it and leave it in there if you like. And then of course we'll flip that lever back so that we can uh, very gently put this handle back on. Okay, you can feel it if it gets caught up and it should be fine. Um, I went ahead and I tested putting this handle handle off and on this saber several times uh, before I made this video because I've had this done for a few days and everything is fine. So that's what I did there. All right, on to the next saber. These are actual installs I did for you, um, you know, over the past couple days. This is a Regis. I just finished it up today. I was waiting for some speakers to come in, so they just came in the middle of the day, all right? But this is a uh, two-button setup. So your switch right here is your power. 180 degrees, this little black guy here is your auxiliary. So what you wanna do is just unscrew the pommel. It'll come right off. You'll see your chassis there. You can take your hand like this, go like that once or twice, and it'll come right out. All right, so we've got, you know, you got your profi build up right there. Easy access to your SD card and your micro USB. So I know you like doing your own fonts and your own setup, so you shouldn't have any difficulty there taking that out with a pair of tweezers um, and using a 90 degree data cable. That's exactly what I use. All right, and then you've got a removable battery. This has a 24 millimeter Smuggles Outpost speaker. And then I did a few things over here to the chassis to just kind of match the edge. So you've got that Phoenix there and some of these designs um, I tried to pull from the saber so you can see that right there and then your phoenix up here i didn't go exactly the same picture but something close so that it matched all right you've got two grooves in the chassis you've got a group if you can see them you got one right here another one over here and those are so when you go into the saber you probably yeah you're not going to see it at all but you can see it from the outside kind of right so you got a screw right here and you've got a screw right here. Those two uh, rails in the chassis, they kind of ride along here. All right, so it has to go in a certain way. The, 
the easiest way to explain it is the board has to be facing the power switch. So when we put a battery in, these both have your fire font on, by the way. So when we put it in, you can see how the battery, the battery and the board, they're all lined up with the main switch, right? If you do it sideways, it's not going to go in. It's going to stop about right there. But if you turn it and line it up correctly, the chassis will go all the way in. Very easy to do once you do it a few times. All right. Um, I made those grooves way bigger than the screws are, um, so you have plenty of room. And just come over here and tighten down your pommel. And hit power. I gave you twists off. Um, I'll throw a blade in here. This takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. You've got a Carl Chen PCB in here for your NeoPixel connector. So we'll just go ahead and push that blade in, lock it down. This was missing the uh, blade retention screw, so I just replaced it. It was no big deal. Go to another font. Get your blade locked up. I have this speaker set at about uh, 1700 to be safe. You'll find a copy of the config file that I use on all of your sabers. Uh, you can, I think, a 24 millimeter, you could set that up to 2000. I just don't like sending them out that way. Smooth gray. Another fire blade. This one's different on the actual fire font. I, I use the real fire blade from Fett's library. blade lock up that will give you a seizure just like that and we'll take the uh, battery and blade out of this guy so this is working fine just a few turns pull this guy out and again when we're done we'll just take the pummel off slide the chassis out and take the battery out from the positive side which is over here by your speaker you should be able to pop it out no problem all right so let's put that back in there for safekeeping Screw this on and put this out of the way, and then we'll go over, uh, lastly, the Valkyrie. So this is a one button setup, all right, and your one switch is right here. That controls everything. You still do have a Carl Chen PCB in here. And then how you get to the chassis is you just want to unscrew the handle. Um, there's a lot of space in this handle, but I tried to make the chassis as compact as I could. That way, you have good sound resonance, right? So you got your profi board right there. Uh, so, you know, again, easy access to your SD card and your micro USB. Removable battery. This is actually housing a 28 millimeter speaker. And then I did a few designs on the chassis again to match the Sabre. You have some leaf work over here on your shrouds. Uh, so I put that over here on your chassis as well. And then there are uh, two koi fish that I tried to... Uh, you know, come over here and fit on the chassis as well. All right, so we'll throw a battery in this guy. So you see the length of the chassis and then you see the length of the handle. You got all that back there for sound resonance. We'll just slap this right on. Hit power. Quite a bit of sound difference. twist off on here as well um, and we'll throw a blade in this guy real quick I am looking for the blade retention I totally forgot where it was oh yes <laughs> I forgot about the blade retention on this guy so the blade retentions you have two of them they're actually the screws that are in your emitter or I'm sorry are 
the screws that are located in your shroud. You have the upper screw here of the two, and then you have an upper screw here. Those are your blade retentions. Um, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. So of course we'll need to back those out. Put in a one inch diameter blade. You will actually want to back out both of these screws in your shrouds because they are both chassis retentions. Okay, and then you can lock them both down on your blade. After you put your blade in, of course, you can come back and lock down both of these screws on each shroud. So you actually have a total of four blade retention screws. All right, and then. Again, with a one button setup, uh, the blade lock up's the same. Hold the button down and hit the saber. To uh, go to another sound font, it's kind of a long press on the button. Smooth Jedi. Smooth Gray. One more. Smooth Fuzz. Nice shine through on your windows, on all your windows, and all throughout the emitter underneath the shrouds. Just like that. All right, and we'll take the blade out of this guy. Um, I didn't tighten down the shroud screws when I was demoing the blade because my blade fit pretty tough. So I'm going to go ahead and screw those in now so I don't forget. Remember, you don't have to take the screws all the way out. You just have to loosen them, but all four of that you do, okay? And then the two shrouds is actually one big piece, so it's not going to come off on you. All right, and then when you're done, again, come over here. Unscrew the handle, and from the positive side of the battery by your speaker, you could pop out the battery like that. Um, and that is basically your Valkyrie, your Regis, and the fix that I did for you on the older, um, on the older Graflex 2.0. Let me know if you got any questions and I'll try to get these out in the mail tomorrow. Thanks.